Hi, I'm Lynn Summers. I've lived in the town of Southhold for 41 years. I've raised a family here. My husband has a church here, the Reverend George Summers. I've worked as an educator at the local schools and also with BOCES. I've been instrumental in many community activities, one of which was crop walk, also being a liaison, an active member of a, a task force that the school advisory council that took place between Greenport all the way through Riverhead to try to get um, better shared services for schools. My interest in the environment, in the land, became very apparent when I was involved with an ad hoc committee to save Wolf Pit in the years of 2002 and 2003. My interest is to keep a bipartisan, balanced program for the trustees. My philosophy regarding the environment is to make good and balanced decisions considering property rights, but also being aware that the environment affects our total community, our neighbors, and the future of our children. I believe heartily in property rights, but not at the sake of access to our, our shorelines. I know that that will forever happen, that that will be questioned. Well, most recently, um, some regressive types of situations could have taken place. The need not to regress is really important, and changes proposed by the trustees are on hold by the South Hold Town Board. And originally, the trustees wanted to do improvements that would regress us backwards by affecting bulkheads, utilizing fertilizers, Fencing on property that needs to have and is guaranteed by law for public access. Also taking away the numbers on docks. And that was done during a work session. But it was spoken to and I would say stopped by the one and only Democratic town board person, Albert Krupski, who he and several others, it took 18 years to craft our town wetlands. Mm -hmm. And why should we go backwards?